and I get lovely thank you notes as well. People say, oh gosh, that tastes just like my granny's or people give me recipes as well. They don't do that with any other product in the store, just clutty dumpling. My name's Kirsten Oliver. My business is called Granny Beatons. Um, it's called Granny Beatons because I make clutty dumpling and it was my, it's my Granny Beatons recipe that I use. My granny lived up in Argyll. She was the wife of a shepherd. They lived up in the hills. She was always very resourceful with cooking and baking. Always loads of food to be had at my granny's. She was a great baker, she enjoyed cooking and when I was younger and I started to enjoy baking, she was delighted and put, sent her recipes to me. Here she says, now darling, keep going at the cooking as it's the main thing in life, I think. She would send me recipes. I've got recipes here for shortbread, Christmas cake and also her clutty dumpling. Her recipes are very traditional, straightforward and easy to follow. Flour, spices, mixed fruit, sultanas, vegetable suet, milk and eggs and treacle. And then it gets simmered for an hour, hour and a half, depending on the size of the dumpling. Take it out of the pan, put it into cold water, take the cloth off. I dry it off in the fan oven for a half hour and then I let it sit for a couple of days to let the skin dry fully. From start to finish, I would say it's about four days before it's, I would say it's ready to sell. Having a professional kitchen, I would say, is essential for me now. I have a separate fridge, a separate freezer, a separate shelf, and so everything to do with the business is next door. It's much easier to have your own area and keep things the way you're required to keep them in terms of um, food hygiene legislation. At first I turned down foodies because I thought, well, I don't know if I can do it and what about Christmas? It's fear of the unknown and not knowing how much I would need to produce. So I did turn it down and they got back in touch and they said, we're here to help small producers. What is What are your concerns? And I just said, I just don't know if I can do it. I don't know what to expect. I'm so used to being in control at a market. And they said, well, give it a go. And I thought, right, OK, I will. And it's given me a bit more confidence, I think. I've noticed a significant increase um, in business to my website since Foodies. I, I, my sales were exceptional in the run-up to Christmas. I've never been so busy. And, and I think there's been a lot of follow-on business from that. And I've had people coming to my market stall saying, oh, we saw your dumplings and foodies and we thought we'd come and have a look at the stall. So many people wanting to support local small businesses. And Foodies, since it's opened last year, is just providing the ideal outlet for producers like myself to actually stock a shelf and for customers to come in and see the huge range of products that Scotland's got to offer. And it's it's different. It's not like going to a supermarket. You won't find these products in the supermarket. These are the, the small traders working from home, working from small premises that are happy to stay at that level and just provide the local community and maybe online as well. Granny Beaton would be absolutely tickled pink. She would love it because in her letter she used to say, now keep going at the cooking, Kirsten. Keep going, you're doing well. I'm so pleased you enjoy baking. Um, she loved it and she loved people enjoying her food. And likewise, I, I love hearing how well they're doing.